Hi, I am Dr. Prabhjot. I am a pediatric neurologist working at Kim's Cuddles, Hyderabad. So today I will be talking about autism. So before also I have spoken about autism, but what I will discuss today in addition to what are the common signs and symptoms, what are the common questions that parents come up when they have a child with autism. So autism is a condition in which the child is unable to communicate well with others. So communication can be verbal communication in which uh, we speak to each other and there's a non-verbal communication in which we express our um, express our desires or express our expressions without really speaking. So kids who have autism, they do not communicate with each other. Now many times parents come in with this complaint when kids are a little later. So there are a few clues which we can pick up even when a child is smaller. A child who is not speaking his first word with meaning by the age of 18 months is not making eye contact. Uh, maybe one of the earliest features of um, autism. Other features may be a child who is very, very into his own world, doesn't really like to mix up with others. Now, this becomes a little difficult to identify if a child is small, let's say one and a half, two years, because the child may not have a lot of, of exposure to other kids, may have not yet started going to a play school also. So, if you see a child who is very upset when new people come to the house, very comfortable with his immediate caregivers, his parents or caretakers, but very upset when he's have, he's brought to a new place or there are new people inside the house, doesn't like to um, have a lot of variety in his play, likes to play the same things over and over. And over. Uh, especially we see many kids are very fascinated with a specific toy, let's say a car and likes to do repetitive things like, you know, spinning the wheels over and over again or putting things in a line, arranging things. Um, a child who gets very easily upset when uh, the arrangements that he makes are disrupted or changed or the way this house is set up is changed uh, very specific about the foods parents many times feel that my child is too fussy there's everything or he doesn't eat anything and there's only one single food that i give him or her he can eat over and over again so this may be a sign that the child is very very specific about his food related concerns especially if he is not uh, uh, taking different textures of foods like crispy soft uh, mushy, all these different textures are uh, difficult to give to a child and he requires only one specific food item to be given or very fussy about the kind of clothes he wears, the blanket he uses, uh, which people he's staying with. See, these can be some early signs that the child has autism. Other signs may be not making eye contact, uh, only repeating things that you say and not really having a conversation, not pointing out using his or her forefinger as to what he wants. So these are usual signs of autism and unfortunately many times it is thought that okay this is something that the child is going to learn, parents are overthinking but these might be actually early signs of autism. So whenever there is a doubt it is better to seek a consult rather than wait because what we see is that the earlier we start interventions for a child who has autism the better chances are that the child is going to respond better. Another common query that the parents come and tell is that no doctor my child was all fine till the time he was around one year or 18 months and he was saying stuff and then he has just stopped doing anything. So many times the symptoms of autism also start around this age and then mostly kids uh, before the, this age also we will see some early signs of autism like not making not making eye contact, not pointing, uh, not really, uh, you know, responding to name. It seems like you have to call him or her multiple times before he or she responds. And then to the response is only towards the thing he or she likes. Now, the common concern is, no, my child was speaking before that and then it has stopped speaking. So many times kids do develop a few words and then stop saying it, which may be a typical kind of a regression that we see in kids who have autism. On the other hand, a child who was perfectly making eye contact, had a good language milestone, was speaking in phrases, let's say by, by about two years and then stopped say, speaking or has uh, lost the, um, the, uh, the skill of speaking after the age of two years, let's say around three or four years, that becomes atypical and which we'll usually investigate. So by and large, the diagnosis of autism is made on the basis of the parental interview that we have. But beyond that, we usually request for a few specific tests to be done by a child psychologist to give a diagnosis for autism. Now, it is important to understand that autism is something that can be picked up early, should not be ignored and should be start, the intervention should be started early. Coming to the tests that we require for autism, most of the kids do not require a lot of tests like imaging, EEG or other blood tests because mostly on the basis of clinical features itself, we may ascertain what is that the child is having autism. 
A common test that we usually ask most of the kids with autism to do is a hearing test, especially if a newborn hearing screen has not been done. We do this because many times kids who have hearing, uh, hearing loss or they find it difficult to hear that normal conversational tones may have the same features like a child who has autism. So if at all we do not detect the hearing loss, we may miss an opportunity to treat a child. So this is the only test that we usually ask for. The other tests are requested on the basis of additional features that we may see in a child. So if at all you have any concerns regarding the speech and communication for your child, please do raise it up with your pediatrician, your developmental pediatrician or a pediatric neurologist so that we may start with a specific plan in place for intervention and help the child as much as possible. Thank you.